you need fresh in order to get that fragrance, in order to get that um, zesty flavor and the wonderful uh, digestive um, abilities of mint. It needs to be fresh. So although some use frozen and dried mint, I find that freshly harvested mint works best and it really does give that minty punch. Another thing I noticed it, what works it best is adding um, sugar. Now you could use stevia, you could use um, exilitol, erythritol, but please avoid using processed white sugar. So in this way, you add your sweetener during the steeping process as it allows for the uh, sweetness to develop its flavor better into the tea. And Moroccan tea is best served hot in traditionally beautifully designed gold cups. I'm not a big fan of gold, so instead I like to enjoy my tea in a silver cup. Moroccan tea has amazing benefits for the physical and mental benefits. Since trying it for the first time at the home of a lovely Moroccan neighbor, it has become a family favorite. For a precise recipe for making the traditional Moroccan green tea, I'll link a video below um, in, the, in the comment section below for a simple guide. It's a video by the wonderful Alia who has a channel um, where she talks about recipes and tips on uh, cooking Moroccan food, Moroccan drinks as well. And she has a lovely video talking about Moroccan meat tea in brief. But here I'm just going to talk about the ways to make it, um, my experience using it and a couple of really important benefits that I want you to be aware of. So there are different ways of brewing this wonderful Moroccan green tea. I've experimented with a few. My favorite ultimate ones is always takes half of fresh mint. Every culture is known for its unique blend of teas from Iraqi black cardamom tea to Asian matcha and African rubios. However, there's a special kind of pleasure associated with sipping Moroccan mint green tea. It's that midpoint between a refresh refreshingly spicy and sweet combination. Zesty fresh mint is all you need to take green tea to the next level. And the Moroccan version combines these flavors perfectly. Since trying it for the first time at the home of a lovely Moroccan neighbor, it has become a family favorite. For a precise recipe for making the traditional Moroccan green tea, I'll link a video below. And Moroccan tea is best served hot in traditionally beautifully designed gold cups. I'm not a big fan of gold, so instead I like to enjoy my tea in a silver cup. Moroccan tea has amazing benefits for the physical and mental benefits. Green tea is renowned for its detoxifying effects and antioxidant properties. And when you combine that with mint, what it really does is it aids in digestion and it helps in boosting the mood and boosting concentration as well. Now, if you're concerned, concerned about the sugar, I said replace with stevia, erythritol or honey. Please share with us in the comments section below what is your favorite beverage. Thank you so much for watching the video till the end and if you would like to support our journey here on the channel and if you would like to receive updates then kindly subscribe where I will share updates, step-by-step -step guides on our um, tips.